control them. Nor can you lose a dream unless you consciously let go. So in the first lesson, when I was introducing day number six about never let your dreams die, I talked about childhood dreams. And it didn't bring to your attention that those dreams are full of life, are full of originality, are full of divine difference, are full of independence. Those dreams are real because when you are a child, your faith is at its highest. You believe things will work out for you. Really, can you have a child that is pessimistic unless they have been influenced by the environment? But generally, children are very optimistic. They're very believing and they're always magnifying their potential. A child will believe they can drive a car. I remember my daughter when she was, uh, she was in Standard 2 or somewhere there. So we had a family friend who had a car. And so many times that family friend would carry her in his car. And I remember her coming home and, you know, telling me the story of how she was driving. She was the one who was driving the car. So you can imagine at her age, she believed that she was a driver because I believe the that family friend would let her hold the steering or something like that. But you can see the ability of children to magnify their, their ability. So your childhood dreams were real, but because of experiences and circumstances you went through you could have stopped believing in yourself you could have stopped believing in your dreams so this is an opportune time to change that history to change that narrative you can reconnect once again with your dreams so how do you revive a dream how do you bring back your dead dreams to life well number one Remind yourself daily that you can achieve your dream. This could mean talking to yourself in the mirror or writing affirmations or remembering when in the past you demonstrated that talent, skills, or expertise necessary to achieve your dream. You could make a list of all the times and places you went and you felt very much active, very much creative, and you almost saw your future in your present. You saw your tomorrow in your today. That's what I'm talking about. So you can always go back to the past where you felt this dream was achievable, was something that was within your ability to achieve. So you can begin from that point and you will see a revival in your brain circuitry you will start to see your spirit again believing and catching the faith that is necessary for you to achieve your dream so that's that's the first thing i want you to start doing then in the second uh, um, lesson we shall be talking about uh, how you can spend time on activities related to your dream as you bring back your dead dream to life. See you then. My name is Coach Martin. It's always a pleasure to have you watch and listen.